Stanford University is reviewing its safety procedures after a man was reportedly found illegally living on campus, the university said in a statement Tuesday. The man was reported to be on campus several times since December of last year but was most recently caught on October 27, according to D. Mostafi, the external communications assistant vice president for the Northern California University. The Stanford Daily, the university newspaper, identified the man as William Curry and he was named by the university as Mr. Curry. Curry reportedly socialized with the other residents and was regularly let into dorms by some resident assistants, according to the Stanford Daily. The paper obtained messages that show resident assistants trying to verify who was authorized to live in the dorm through rosters. While some discussions were had with some resident staff regarding Curry's intrusions, there were no broad communications about him to all Stanford residences, Mostafi said. Circumstances of the case, including Curry's persistence and ability to ingratiate himself with our student community, show gaps exist in protocols to prevent such incidents from happening, Mostafi said. We will immediately undertake a review to ensure our procedures do not allow for this type of incident to happen again, she said. CNN was unable to reach Curry for comment. He also declined the Stanford Daily's request for a telephone interview, telling the paper he did not directly contest most of the facts of the investigation. According to Mostafi, the university's public safety department obtained multiple stay-away letters, a prerequisite to citing someone for trespass on campus. But school officials were unable to locate Curry until the most recent incident, and they served him the letter at that time. It's unclear when the first incident occurred. CNN has reached out to Stanford for clarification. CNN has also reached out to student groups on campus. No one needed to know what Elon Musk smells like, yet here we are. The billionaire troll and prolific breeder launched his own fragrance, Burnt Hair. Musk announced the project on Twitter, updating his bio to read Perfume Salesman. In 2017, he changed his bio to Hat Salesman after selling over $500,000 worth of hats via his infrastructure venture The Boring Company. Please buy my perfume so I can buy Twitter, he added, referencing his months-long entanglement with the social media platform. Counted as the essence of repugnant desire, burnt hair prices at $100 a bottle and ships in Q1 of 2023, IRL. Specific notes and accord aren't listed on the Boring Company's website. Personally, I'd love to know which fragrance firm was tasked with the stench. On Wednesday, Musk claimed he sold 10,000 bottles of the perfume, bringing sales to a total of $1 million. Sales allegedly reached $2 million by the end of the day. Perfumes emulating bad smells aren't exactly a new thing. Demeter, a company that bills itself as a library of fragrance, sells spritzes of Play-Doh, Stable, and Turpentine. In 2006, Niche fragrance house Eta Libre d'Orange released secretions magnifique, the scent of semen, saliva, and sweat. In fact, most of your favorite fragrances likely contain notes that, on their own, smell fecal, animalic, or endolic, galbanum, musk, and jasmine are a few examples. Perfumers manage to transform these stinky notes into the most intoxicating of scents. I don't usually judge a fragrance by its bottle, or its creator, but Eau de Elon stinks, 